Gay Padilla alongside Chris Lucero. The last month I've seen you kickbox, cage fight, and now we're at the Bare Knuckle Prospect Series. Uh, I gotta give you all the respect in the world, man. Uh, how do you find that courage and how do you find that motivation and uh, how has this journey been for you? This journey's been good. It's been it's a lot of ups and downs, I say. But I do it just to, just to prove everyone wrong. Because I come from a small town, so I just want to prove everyone wrong so that I can make, make so, myself. So let's backtrack a couple of weeks back. You had your uh, kickboxing fight, I believe. Uh, kind of describe how that was for you. It was outside, it was very cold. It was under some weird circumstances. Just uh, how was that experience and kind of explain some of the uh, parts of that fight and how it did go for you? Well, the, the, the cold, yeah, the cold. Yeah. I, I kind of felt it. I felt a little bit of it of getting ready to start the first round. I felt good in the first. Everything was good. Wish, wish I did a little bit more. I wish I cut more angles off, threw more kicks. And we move in a couple weeks after the Jackson Wing card comes along. Um, you know, results are um, weren't as expected, but hey, you know, uh, we live to fight another day, and you know that's what you do it for. You know, is uh, to go back in there and, and uh, do it again. Um, you know, how was that experience for you? Um, you know, are you willing to go back in the cage again this next year? You know, what, what are your plans for MMA? I plan to do all of it. Everything, bare knuckle, kickboxing, boxing. We wanted to try left away maybe too. But yeah, I'm done. I want another cage fight for this year too. I want to rack up a lot of cage fights. Awesome. Uh